So you think you could be Silver Quill? Call yourself one of us, try and say we're the same. Carry our title and brandish our name. What's in a name? With the Stygian ink that flows thick through our veins? We craft poems and prose into blades from our brains, slicing sharks through our foes with each refined refrain. From the darkest of swamps to the vastest of plains. We train in the arcade. And you think you could be Silver Quill? We are the leaders, out front the trendsetters. Slick, stylish go-getters, you won't find any better. We are the speakers whose words shape the discourse. Armed with artful imperatives, our adjectives out in force. You can hate us, but don't even try to debate us. We are in our own league. We have flow that keeps flowing. We will never stop going. No sign of fatigue. You want style cut with power and the guts to pursue it? Want respect and acclaim and to know how to use it. You think you could be Silver Quill? Prove it. Why did I choose Wither Bloom? Why did I choose Wither Bloom? Why did I choose Wither Bloom? Because I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Because no cave is too dark. <laughs> Why did I choose Wither Bloom? Because I get to work with animals. Because I have a green thumb. Because. 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 Because in Wither Bloom, I get to be me. Wither Bloom, a place where you can grow. When you walk through the Lorehold Hall of Alumni, an aura of distinction hangs thick in the air. Scholars, leaders, and champions line these walls. Scholars like Anderson Langley Hart, genius crypto archivist who successfully restored 300,000 scrolls from the Lost Library of Alexandria, in the process uncovering evidence of a larger, more ancient, and even loster library. Leaders like Tanya Yearly, legendary explorer and diplomat who intervened in a decades-long Civil War, channeling the spirits of Gandhi, Mangara, and the belligerent grandmothers of the two enemy warlords to forge a lasting peace agreement. Champions like Titus Marsh, renowned pro Mage Tower player who, when the rest of his team was sick with severe food poisoning, drew upon the stratagems of Genghis Khan and Odric Lunark Marshall to win the 1946 Mage World Cup entirely by himself. Countless legends line this hall, but at its end, an empty portrait hangs. It stands ready, waiting for those who have the drive and the courage to earn their place among giants. Lorehold College, start your story. Here at Quandrix College, our students think a little bit differently. We are innovators, inventors. We are mental equestrians always looking for that next big brain challenge. It might seem like we have all the answers, but in reality, we're more about the questions. How fast? Oh, way faster. How big? So much bigger. Could a human outrace a dragon? We should probably look into that one a little bit more. The first thing that we need to do is assume that a dragon can scale something like an animal that we already know of, and that our human is going to be a 1-1 one -one token with swift foot boots on, or else this is going to be a real short race. But this is obviously getting a lot more complicated, so I think I need some help. We also have to consider whether or not our dragon will be breathing fire on our other competitors. So, of course, if you are moving that swiftly with something like swift foot boots, the boundary layer around a person who had And I guess it matters what kind of dragon we're talking to realize here is that the bigger the thing doesn't necessarily... If you're still with us, you might be one of us. Quandrix College. You've got answers, we've got questions. You begin with nothing. And then... A spark. An idea. It takes hold of you. That spark becomes a flame. It's a drop of water that becomes a river. A torrent changing all it touches. You are an artist. Where others see chaos, you see a canvas. It's not easy, but you fight past your doubts. You persevere. You're passionate. You're proud. You're a prodigy. You are Prismari.